Hello, my name is Emma and in today's video I'm going to talk about accents and I'm also going to talk about something called clear speech. So a lot of um, people come up to me and they ask me, Emma, how can I change my accent? Now that's a, a really interesting question um, and usually my first response is why are you changing your accent or why do you want to change your accent? And different people have different answers. So for some people, they might want um, to change the way they speak and maybe change their accent because they feel other people aren't understanding them. So when they speak, they feel that their accent is um, getting in the way of their communication. Uh, for other people, they might be understood usually, but in certain situations, maybe um, their accent makes it difficult for others to understand them. So for example, um, for some people, it might be harder to understand a person with a, a stronger accent in a noisy place, like a restaurant. Or maybe um, older people might not understand the accent so well because they're not used to it. Um, or other people who have never heard that accent before might have a harder time understanding it. Um, or maybe you have somebody who has hearing loss and so accents might be a little bit more difficult for them to understand. Now it's important to remember this important point, which is that many people have accents and are understood. And many people with accents uh, do not feel the need to change their accent because everybody has an accent. And an accent um, shows where you're from, it shows your identity, and so there's nothing wrong with having an accent, okay? We should be proud of our accents. What this video is about is for people who feel their accent or the way they speak gets in the way of communication, okay? So again, many people have accents and are perfectly understood. So if people have trouble understanding you um, and you think it's because of the way you speak because of your accent, uh, you may want to learn about clearer speech and how to use clearer speech to help people understand you better. So I'm going to talk to you about clearer speech and how to help you communicate more efficiently and effectively. Okay, so how can we make our speech clearer? Well, one thing we can do is we can work on intonation. So a lot of people from, um, who are learning English have trouble with intonation which is the music of English. So in English, sometimes our voices rise or they go up and sometimes they go down. And this is very important for your meaning because we use different intonation when we're using different types of questions or um, different statements. So it's really helpful to know your intonation and to use intonation properly by knowing intonation, your speech will become clearer. Another thing that can really help um, be, help you become clearer in your speech is thinking about timing. By timing, I mean the duration or the amount of time you say different parts of words, uh, different syllables. That can really make a difference, especially if you want to work on accents. So for example, um, we have two words here. They're very similar bet and bed. So if I'm talking to somebody, they might not know which one I mean because they're very similar sounding. The only difference is this ends in a T and this ends in a D. They have different meanings, but they sound the same except for the last consonant. Now, which one do I say longer? So listen carefully, bet, bed. You'd probably say bed. And that's correct. Uh, so it's important to know the length when it comes to how you say things because that will help uh, people understand you better. It's the same if you think about the word duck and dog. One is shorter and one is longer. So you might want to start paying attention to this in language. Same with vowels. Um, a lot of times people learning English, they have trouble with the short E sound and the long E sound. 
So for example, if I want to say sit, that's a short I sound, sit, versus seat, which is a long sound, sit, seat. By having different um, lengths of time for those vowels, you really, uh, the pronunciation affects which word you're saying. Another thing you can work on that will help you become a clearer speaker is stress. And by that, I mean loudness, okay? Sometimes we use loud uh, loudness to emphasize a part of the word or a part of the sentence. And this helps people who are listening understand us better. So for example, many times with numbers, people have a lot of trouble. Um, are you saying 13? Or are you saying 30? By saying part of that louder, 13, 30, there's a difference and that can help um, the listener understand you clearer. So if somebody's not understanding you, you might want to say parts louder than others. We well, can also use this in a sentence. Um, sometimes we say the important part of the sentence louder than the rest. So maybe I have a question. Uh, I want to know what time class or what day class is on. I think it's on Thursday. So in order for somebody to really know my thoughts, I might say class is on Thursday, right? Notice Thursday was louder. And the reason is because that's the important thing I'm checking. So we use loudness to make things more important in a sentence. Another thing that can help with clearer speech is thinking about syllables and multi-syllable words. So those are words that are longer with many parts to them. I have here three different words. They're all about medicine. We have medicine, medicinal, and medication. So these words are different in a way, and that's the pronunciation. We say different parts of them with more stress or more loudness. So I've underlined the part we say with stress. In the first part, we say medicine. The second one is medicinal. And the third part, we say this part louder, medication. A lot of people who are learning English, they don't pay attention to this stress pattern. So when they pronounce things, uh, the listener doesn't realize which word you're saying because the stress is on the wrong syllable. So learning about stress in multi-syllable words can be very helpful. For people who want to change their accent or to um, modify their accent, uh, in English, vowels are very important. A lot of people think about consonants, and those are important too, but not a lot of people work on changing vowels. In different countries and in different languages, vowels sound very different. And so if you want a more um, typically, uh, a more typical accent of, you know, an English speaking country, you might focus on vowels as a starting point. Uh, learn the different vowels, learn how they're produced by using your tongue and your mouth. The key here is working on vowels like A, E, I, O, U, and there are a lot more than that, but these are the ways we spell vowels. Working on vowels can really help um, in terms of modifying your accent. So now let's look at some other tips on how to speak clearer and if you're interested, how to modify your accent. Okay, so what's another way you can make your speech clearer? Well, it's really important when you're talking to somebody uh, not to cover your mouth. When you cover your mouth, it makes it a lot more difficult for somebody to understand what you're saying. And so if you have an accent, um, this can be even more difficult for people. It's, it's difficult even without an accent. So. Try not to cover your mouth. Also, it's important to face the listener so they can see what your mouth is doing. It's way easier to understand somebody when you're looking at each other's faces. This is why when people talk on the phone, it can be really hard for language learners to understand what other people are saying. It's because it's easier to understand when we look at each other's faces. Um, 
this is a really good tip for uh, to make clearer speech, and that is over enunciate. So over enunciate. What do I mean by that? Well, it means when you speak, you slow down, you exaggerate. So you exaggerate your uh, what your mouth is doing, what your tongue is doing. You speak very slowly and very clearly, and you use a lot of effort. Okay, so I don't think people should over enunciate all the time because it's tiring and it does not sound natural. But if you're somebody who um, people aren't understanding, it might be an idea to over enunciate, especially when you're in a noisy place like a restaurant um, or when you're on the phone. Over enunciating can really help you. Um, so one tip is when you're in these situations, pretend you're talking to somebody who's a hundred years old and they um, have hearing loss. They can't hear you. Okay. What would you do? You would slow down your speech and you would talk very carefully, very clearly. Okay. And slowing down can really help somebody understand what you're saying because it gives the other person more time to, uh, for their brain to process. So slowing down is a good idea and using these exaggerations is a really good idea too. But again, this is exhausting, it's very tiring. So only do this when people really aren't understanding you. Uh, my next tip is everyone knows practice makes perfect. And that's true when you are either trying to speak clearer or if you're trying to modify your accent. It's very important to practice. It's also important how we practice, okay? A lot of people, they wanna change their accent overnight or they want to speak clearer overnight, but that's often not possible. It takes a lot of practice um, and a lot of time and effort. Another thing people do is they have, um, they try something that's way too hard for them at the beginning. And then they get really frustrated because they're not making progress. So what do you do? Well, you do things in steps or stages. So you might start by choosing, um, you know, a sound in English. You really want to get good at uh, producing. Uh, maybe, for example, you always say E when you really want to say I. So instead of saying um, uh, seat, maybe you say sit because you can't, um, you're having trouble with your vowels. So you might just work on a sound first, and then you might work on a short word, and then you might work on a longer word, then you might work on a, a word with multiple syllables, then you might work on sentences, then you might work on answering specific questions, and finally, you might practice um, using clear speech or changing your accent in conversation. So the main point is it takes time to build these skills and you have to do it in steps. So when it comes to um, modifying an accent, you know, it would be very hard to start at a conversation level, okay, where you're just trying to change everything at the same time. It's better to work on a small part of the language at a time and go in stages. It's also important to know that it's good to have somebody who can correct you if you're making a mistake. Because if you're making the same mistake over and over and over again, then your brain might start uh, learning a bad habit and it might be harder in the future to change. So I recommend either um, getting an English teacher or a speech language pathologist or somebody who is an expert in language who can help you with accent modification or speaking clearer. Um, my final tip is practicing at the, the, in the same context will really help you as well. So for example, for some of my students, I tell them, I want you to practice over enunciating at breakfast every day, uh, two minutes at breakfast time, and then you can take a break and then you can try this again 
at dinner time. So that way you're not always using your brain. It takes time to build up where you're using it, you know, whenever you want. But it's good to practice in a specific time, in a specific context. Um, so that way it becomes a habit. So we've covered a lot of information in this video. Um, again, there's a lot of work if you want to modify your accent. Uh, it's important to know that. For many people, they don't have uh, trouble being understood anyway, so they don't see a reason to, to change their accent, and that's, that's great. For other people, they might want to change their accent in certain situations. Uh, for others, they just might want to speak clearer. They might not mind their accent, they, they love their accent, but they just want clearer English. So these tips will work for any of those situations. I want to thank you for watching this video, um, and I also want to invite you to check out our website at www.ingvid.com. There you can actually do a quiz on what we've covered in this video. I also would invite you to uh, subscribe to my channel, where you can find a lot of different resources on pronunciation, on intonation, on vowels, on a lot of what we covered here, but in more detail. So please check that out, uh, and when you subscribe, make sure to ring the bell. Uh, to make sure that you get up-to-date uh, notifications when my new videos come out. So thank you again for watching, and until next time, take care.